The craziest thing about this whole scenario, we still haven't found Johnny, so I guess we lost the Nissan GTR and we gained a 2021 Toyota Supra. And we're back, baby. So we did find Johnny. Johnny is en route here to the house in the Nissan GTR. Where he went, what he did, we'll probably never know for sure. He might be wearing a sombrero. He might have a warrant out for his arrest, but he's gonna swap the GTR back for his Toyota Supra with the new FI exhaust. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, you gotta go watch the last video, link below. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Johnny, 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 where have you been? You're looking sharp. This, uh, this car has 3,000 more miles and and I'm glad you didn't wrap that. You have a little bit of a tan, it looks like. How was Guadalajara? Uh, it was good. It was good. The <laughs> cops are surprisingly charitable there. Oh, I like charitable cops. Yes. <laughs> like I said, we just made some very, very minor, nothing crazy. Well, kind of crazy. A little bit crazy. He's going to burn something. And nothing caught on fire, okay? We have a fire extinguisher. <laughs> here bro this I, is unexpected i was on a drive it's a beautiful day <laughs> it's a beautiful day especially for this mustangs is a, beautiful day. a bunch of rear wheel yeah. drive cars driving in the rain it tests your skills fly high to the sky if you guys didn't see my last video link below bro do not crash into my neighbor's yard that would be hard to explain i tell you these guys must love me they can't get enough of me constantly stopping by Couple baby revs. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Johnny. Oh my God! I'm telling ya, FI exhaust on a Supra will change your life. How you doing, Marshmallow? Yeah, the floof goes Godzilla. <laughs> you like it? The baseball leather accentuates your floof. Out of nowhere, look who we just found! No way! That car looks so crazy good. Goodness. <laughs> Whoa. This is the most dangerous maneuver of the entire day near a Mustang in the rain with Lambo doors. Oh my goodness. Whoa, 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 whoa. These guys are crazy. Bunch of Looney Tunes. I don't know how to say this. I forgot to film lunch. Go. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's snowing. It's snowing in Utah right now. It was 80 degrees last week here in Utah and it's legit snowing now. Like really, come on Utah. The Gladiator Hellasaurus 6x6, so the observant viewer would note we're missing a truck bed. The truck bed is actually like a couple warehouses over. It's being painted tomorrow. We're gonna go check it out. We are getting so close on this Gladiator. You can see we got the new springs up front. The whole bed has been lowered and it's sitting oh so flush. I know a lot of you guys have been asking, am I still gonna go Elephant? Honestly, I have no, I, I, I truly don't know. So we have the Hellcat engine, 707 horsepower. The Hellfin has a thousand horsepower. I'd like to do it. I just don't know if it's worth the money. I'm not sure, what do you guys think? And just like that, we've arrived here to classic American car wonderland. We're here at Eakin's Garage. Check out the bed back here. It is coming together so well. You can see they actually rhino lined it. It looks like a factory bed. It's an eight foot bed right here. So tomorrow, first thing in the morning, it's headed off to paint. You see the fender flares right there. The level of detail in this bed is crazy. I love how the notch right there from the factory fender, they've actually matched it right there on the back end as well. We have all the rhino lined edges right here. So we're gonna be painting the bed black. After 30 days, then we can wrap it purple. We're getting there, Todd. Okay, finally yes. close. <laughs> That's all you got. You are off today, bro. <laughs> you need some canes or some Chick-fil-A. You know what you need? Olive Garden. Raising Canes is close. Olive Garden. That's oh. what you need. I mean, we could chit chat about a truck bed all day long, but you guys probably would click away. So yeah, like I said, we're getting very, very close. It's going to paint tomorrow. I'm flying to Oregon tonight, so we'll be back on Monday and we'll mount it on the Gladiator. Yeah? Yeah. It's now a sunny day here in Utah. So it was raining this morning. It was snowing this afternoon. Now we got blue skies and sunshine. Not really blue skies, but kind of. I know the Gladiator 6x6 project has taken longer than we anticipated, but I'm telling you, like the attention to detail in this build, it is going to be the highest quality 6x6 in the world. I cannot wait. So we are now headed off to DT Auto Brokers and the Aventador. And yes, if you guys are wondering, we're going to unwrap the GTR eventually. And when I say eventually, I don't know. 
eventually. Well boys, here she is, the Mad Max Aventanodor here at the paint booth. This car is gonna be so sick, I cannot wait to share with you guys. So tomorrow they're gonna start painting the car, it's actually 11 different layers. So step one, they have to paint the entire car white, then four layers of the paint code, the ad persona paint code. The sample piece is gonna be here momentarily, so I'm gonna share that with you here very, very soon. Then the pearl coat, which is actually crushed glass, like legit crushed glass, and then five to six coats of clear coat. You see the rear deck lid piece right here, all sanded down, ready to roll. So obviously this is a Pirelli edition of Ventor. You can see the Pirelli logo right there, as well as on the A pillar. Check out this stencil right here. So we're actually gonna finish the Pirelli logo in white. It'll make sense soon, trust me. We're gonna have white wheels with a Pirelli logo and then a different color, which we're going to announce in like three seconds. Now I tell you this not from experience per se, I've just had much smarter people and more skilled people tell me this. Painting the car is actually easy. It's the prep to get the car ready for paint. What's so cool about the Avenger, we actually took all the panels off the car. The only thing staying on the car is the A pillar right here, the door hinge, and this weird little triangle. I currently have the sample behind my back right now. Now it's my understanding, this could be right, it could be wrong, there are only two Lamborghinis in the world that have ever been finished in this color. There's a Centenario in Switzerland, and there's an Aventador SV Roadster in Tokyo, Japan. We have gone with Lamborghini Rosa Acantis. Check this color out, it is gonna look crazy. We pulled out the big boy lights so you can see the glass in this paint. That looks absolutely crazy. Unfortunately here in Utah, it is overcast and gloom and doom. Look at all of that glass, that's insane. We also have this B pillar piece right here. This pink is just glowing. Out of nowhere, Josh pulls out the monster, not a paper product place. That is like the exact same thing. That's crazy. <laughs> well, you know how, how is much that time, possible? Dude, how much what? time we would have saved if we just would have called monster, <laughs> know, probably. Right? Yeah. Jeez, monster. Oh, wow, that was your shot right there. That Goodness. Good. You should good. be a monster model. Stop it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, yes, I know some of you guys are going to love the color. And yes, I can hear the comments already. Some people are going to hate the color. But it's a Lamborghini. It's a Liberty Walk Aventador Lamborghini. We had to go bright. We had, we had to go pink. As soon as I found out there's only two factory Lamborghinis, a Centenario and an SV Roadster, I was like, we gotta be number three with the wide body Roadster. I'm so excited. I cannot wait for you guys to see this color in person or under the direct sunlight. It is just glowing. This color right here with the white Vossen wheels and the white Pirelli pinstripes, it's just gonna look, it's gonna look simply unlike any other Lamborghini in the entire world. It's gonna play the part. Oh my gosh, like I said earlier, so all the other pieces are being painted. It took us forever to get this paint. It's such an expensive paint, especially with the glass inside of it. So yes, we are painting it tomorrow, but I'm flying to Oregon tonight. Well, you're never gonna guess, guys. It is now raining yet again here in Salt Lake City, Utah. I am genuinely so excited. That color has completely exceeded my expectations. I was going back and forth. Do we go pink? Do we go another color that's maybe not quite as bold? But I'm so happy. Like, it's truly gonna be a one of one spec. This is legit Typhoon number 49 descending on the state of Utah. Like, I know it's not a Florida rainstorm or anything like that. It just never rains in Utah. Well, today's video is pretty much over, but the McLaren 12C is actually headed off to California this evening. It might never come back to Utah. Also, I just want to point out, I did a terrible job parking the Bugatti. It's all askew. The McLaren 12C is headed down to Southern California. I don't know how to say this nicely or lightly, it has a ver an assortment. It has an assortment of issues. The car probably has 12 different check engine lights. So we're shipping it down to Southern California. We're getting the car serviced. And then I think we're gonna sell it to somebody in Southern California. This is probably the last time it's gonna be in Utah. This 12C is such a cool looking car. It's such a fast car. But unfortunately, it just has a lot of issues. If you listen closely, it sounds like a fire alarm's going off. As I mentioned earlier, the 12C is being shipped down to Southern California. Tire monitoring fault, driver door internal release fault, passenger door internal release fault, engine system fault. So yeah, I can't actually open any of the doors without the manual release. That's the only way to get in and out of the car. So anyways. And just like that, fellas, the 12C has finished this time here in the beautiful state of Utah. It was a fun car, it had a lot of issues, but it's headed off to a new home after it gets fixed, after everything is fixed, then it's headed off to the new home. Good thing you're skinny, dude, because the doors don't open on this car. I just don't eat. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. And there she goes. I don't know, we might see her again. The car alarm's going off. 
You guys hear that? <laughs> McLaren life. That was quite the productive day. So a quick update on the Veyron. So we're rocking the standard headlights. I have ordered the Grand Sport headlights or so the cool LED headlights. They should be here someday. I just have no idea when. Unfortunately, unwrapping the Nissan GTR has turned into another four week project. So that's on the docket next week. The Aventador, we gotta install the white bricks and forged wheels, but. We also have a quick update on the new V12 Lamborghini that is being imported in from drum roll. Canada, the beautiful country of Canada. Now, I don't wanna say too much without quite saying enough, but it's on the far, like, the far east side of Canada. So we need a bunch of documentation. We're only waiting on one last document to get it into the United States. We need to show proof that the car has no existing recalls. So my homies down at Lamborghini Las Vegas, they're working with the factory. Like the factory is involved in getting this car into the United States of America. I bought that car, I think three weeks ago. It probably won't be here for at least another three or four weeks because obviously shipping from East Canada to Utah is a long ways and it has to get across the border. Of course, we still got one major update, the twin turbo Lamborghini Gyro. Like I mentioned a couple months ago, we gotta rebuild the motor. We're gonna be able to dial up the boost to a thousand plus wheel horsepower. Now we're getting parts in from all around the world. We've received maybe 75% of the parts, but we need 100% of the parts to actually start the project. I keep saying we branded it B Rogue Built. He's the twin turbo guru. Once he gets all the parts he can start, the car is still tracking to be done this summer. And I think that pretty much does it. The Gladiator 6x6 is almost here. The wide body Aventador is on the horizon. And this summer, flames from here to North Carolina. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did like squad, be sure to smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over. And I'm out.